The parade of players coming off the team bus as the visitors pulled into the building. A very determined group coming in here tonight. Joining us on 2K Sports NBA Action. It's coming up. This is Brian Anderson at the table with basketball royalty, Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Allie LaForce, our reporter. Now the starting group for the visitors. And for Phoenix, pretty interesting backcourt matchup here, Grant, with a lot of star power at the guard positions on both sides. And you know, traditionally, BA, when big guys match up, it's all about the power. But this contest is about finesse. Who can outplay and outsmart the competition? From the arc. Pure from three-point range. Number the first of many tonight. Both teams have legit offensive talent. Boy, I tell you what, that's going to be like a pinball machine. The way that scoreboard's going to run. Oh, the ball is about to Now keep possession. on defense. Boy, I like a lot about this young man's game. One shot. One shot. Unlike a lot of drafts, Grant, there wasn't a clear first overall pick in 2022 for the Magic. Yeah, but I do think they nailed it, taking Paolo Bancaro, a 6'10 playmaker. Bancaro was Rookie of the Year, and he's certainly a player you can build around. Ooh, old school right there. No easy buckets. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds. Still Phoenix. The shot. Can't get a second shot to fall. Now one of two. Gone 0 for 3 from the floor to begin this one. The layup off target. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just it's against his constitution. The defeats. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. 19-footer. Yep, count it. Boy, the only team in his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Driving to the basket. And he sinks out, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. And that ends their drought. You can feel the frustration building with each miss. Oh, man, this thing was turning into a soccer game. A lot of action and not many points. That's out of bounds. Still Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix ball. ball. Phoenix time out, time out. Phoenix, time out. Guard. 
From the high post, count it. Good. Perkins has got five. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes played so far. Clock at six. And he's going for the lob! Number, throw him number down 25. On the lob. Assisted. The number pass, 10. The catch, the slam. What a clean play. And absolutely jaw dropping. I'll tell you what, you wouldn't know they're the team trailing when they're able to pull off plays like that. Gone two of six to open up this game. Takes it in. Banked it in Number on the glass. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. And the officials oh, whistle a foul on the shot. Number 19. Is good, and he'll go to the line. Defensive starting to find his rhythm. No, he's cooking, and he knows. And you know what? They're going to keep you. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. At the line for one, number 19. Seven here at the start. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Launches it. And can't get it to go. Now one of two. For Phoenix, they've got 50% of their shots to fall so far. The five of ten. Uses the glass on the left. Number 19. He's got seven. Assist from. Oh, nice feed. Number five. On time and on target. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Oh, a clear first foul time. there on the missed shot. Uh -huh. So he'll get a clear first personal line. foul. First team foul. Shooting for the away team. Number 25. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. That 
one goes in. Two from the line that time. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Puts it up from 12. And Number 14. Timeout, timeout. Good pass in to set Phoenix that up. Timeout. Teamwork on display. Phoenix calls timeout. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. his first shot of the game. He was so well positioned to interfere with the shot. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, he challenged the shot, and you can see the effects on the release of that shot. I mean, it turned a simple jumper into a tough one. Tipped! <laughs> 44 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Launches a three. No good. That's his third miss out of five attempts. Shooting about 40% in the early stages of this game. Shoot, blocked! At the line for the away team, number 22, taking two shots. And the first one at the line is good. So it's both teams making substitutions here. them both. Phoenix has gone one of four from deep. Oh, and now the no Number question. Powered it down. Wow. That type of finish is just deflating right now for a team that's trying to make a comeback. Ouch. That's certainly a big time finish right there. It was one big exclamation point. Or maybe even a question mark. Hey, guys. I know there are a lot of questions right now defensively. That's the end of the first quarter. There's no doubt about that. And that does it for the first quarter. The Up visiting team. And well, we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. Second quarter action is where we are. 
And from what we've seen here from the home team, what's your take so far? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. Clark, we're in the era of the scoring point guard. Who's the best one going in your mind? Well, I think you got to start with Steph. I mean, he is just so unbelievably remarkable in his shot-making ability everywhere. People obviously target his three-point shooting. Number but five. He, to me, is the greatest shot-maker that we've had in the game when you look at the totality of what shot making is there's nobody that has mastered shot making in every way to waste that all right let's get the fourth finale brian magic coach Jamal mosley talked about the leadership of this team he said we're going to do it by committee each guy's going to have a voice on a different night we want to build them up where there's a chemistry and as guys rise and get their voice they get the best feeling of leadership Thank you. Blocked! And we played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. Sinks that one four. from the post. Gets the defender to sell out on the pump fake, then flips it in. And it's Phoenix's ball. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Puts it up from 12. It's deflected. In transition. And that goes out of bounds. And they retain the possession. Substitution on the court. Failing to find a rhythm away team. offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed Put to your create some high percentage shots. Phoenix Dancers. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Into the lane. Off target at the rim. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. In transition, here they come. Let's it fly from 18. He drains out on after two misses. Now one for three. For Phoenix, they've gotten only one of four shots to go in. Out to the right wing. Over to the wing. Shot clock at six. Let's it fly. Kept alive. It's good. Number 25. And Phoenix leads by three. Huge putback. This guy plays with so much energy. I don't know anybody that goes after the boards harder. And night in and night out, that's what he provides. Number 10. And he gets it to go. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Can't connect. Making him one for six from the field. Gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. And here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. Number seven. Two free throws for him. First personal foul. First team foul. Well, that was clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. The Burn for the away those team. Free throws. Number eight. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Phoenix. They've been in rhythm from the in-between area. Just keeping things simple and taking what the D gives them. I would like to highlight two guys. Shoot two. The excellent passing they've done early on. I mean, they've done a really good job putting the ball into the hands of guys ready to shoot it. Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. lead 
as the free throw drops in for him. Three minutes of action thus far in the second. The ball's knocked loose. Nice. Number Gets his second bucket. He's two for four now. Number Getting 10. enough shots in close to play inside out. And he lobs it up to the rim. Number oh, five. High and down it goes, goes to the lob. RJ. Beautiful Number setup seven. on the alley -oop. Great catch, great flush. Boy, I tell you what, that's the play we'll remember if they can put together a little surge to break this game up. Nails it from three. Number 28. Can't give those openings three. defensively. He'll just keep exploiting them. Phoenix calls timeout. Phoenix timeout. And something fans don't always get to see, some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Team. Two minutes They've remaining. Only given up six Two minutes. Here in this quarter. Up and in Jason. on the layup. Perkins. Perkins has got seven points. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. To the middle. Oh, Number what a 22. Assisted by Number eight. You know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen. A minute 29 left in the first half. Away team foul. Number four. First personal foul. First team foul. Two for four in the contest. 44 seconds left in the first half. To the right side. Shot clock at five. No one covered. Ten points for him. They've been the more poised team tonight, and the score reflects that. Well, I like the way they're playing. A very smart first half. Quality shots, not wasting possessions. There's the triple. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. Number 52% from the floor so far. Welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. 
Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Checking out the visiting team. Kenny, what's your? They came in prepared. The offense is firing on all cylinders. We love the pace, the flow. Very efficient. Value and possessions is fueling their success right now. This is not a team we want to bet against. At least not. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. I'm going to see if we can ride. Yeah, you gotta be aggressive. Force the action. Drive the lane. Let the defense react to what you're doing. If they can do that, I think they have a good chance of pulling out of the And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. Now, Brett, uh, We've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. First one falls. Both good from the line that time. And Phoenix shooting 41% on this game. Checking out the group for Darko Rayakovic to start the second half. It's tipped! Here's the three. And he can't get that one. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. Can't connect from short range. You can't afford to lose concentration even for a nanosecond. And they get it back. Second chance effort. That shot off. For Phoenix, they've gone 0 for 3 to start the second half. All right, let's check in with Ali LaForce. Well, before his one season at Duke, Paolo Bencaro tattooed the message, no pressure, on his left forearm. He said, quote, there's going to be noise. But Number 10. Time out, time out. Gotta go out there and hoop against five other guys. Please, so it's out. like, quote, Start. what really is it if it's just basketball? <laughs> That's a good point. No big deal. Thanks, Allie. Phoenix calls timeout. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them quicker. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. And it's blocked right out of the air and controls it. To the wing, right side. A little bit range shot is up. They get it again. Oh, and Number makes it with a kiss. 
He's got five. That's simply an outstanding play, working the size mismatch right at the rim. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. To stop the drought. Five on the clock. Jason, that's good on the jumper. Perkins has got nine. I thought he might get caught between the pass and the shot, but he makes a great adjustment. Jacks up a three. And it's Perkins with a rebound. Perkins has got four rebounds now. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. The three ball. It's a three pointer. A total defensive collapse. No reason to allow that kind of space from behind the arc. Just under three and a half minutes have passed. Got it. Number five. Oh, that time crossed up the whole building on that play. So it's the home team now. Beyond the arc. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. Number They're making 19. smart adjustments, setting guys up for success. It's certainly been an impressive run. Finally found the right form to break minutes. down the defense. Puts up a deep three. And no good. It's never easy from that distance. But we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Well, that, that looked to me, guys, like an even step foul. Maybe a step foul in his brain. Second hey, personal foul, you can't first block team foul. Sending him to the line can be the next best thing. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup. The Number two. And then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. Shooting two. Falls for him. So both teams making some changes here. And he makes both free throws. 144 left in the third. Timeout, timeout. Away team. The Lava State craziest fans get a free t shirt. Let's hear it, fans. There's a minute 34 left in the third quarter. Got a hand on it. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. Well, I cannot believe he didn't capitalize there. And neither can he. Misses from close range. 
showing great intensity around the rim. It's part of why he's a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just a, against his constitution. 56 seconds left to play in the third. Can they get it? Four point oh, lead. And it's energy like that on both ends of the floor that's got them out ahead. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. So what guys did for nothing else just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. There's 37 seconds left in the third quarter. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. both there's 18 seconds left in the third to win the cold spell no good that time and so leading by four Wrap up the quarter. Seven, Appearing in control, the visiting but team. still use a little more of a push to feel totally comfortable in this one. Or NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And it's time to bring up the State Farm Assist to the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. For me, next to the big time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet looking NBA highlights. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Takes the three, trains the triple pointer, and adding to this lead right now. Riding a wave of momentum. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. And he lobs it up top. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Money on the 19th quarter. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for Phoenix. Well, their D has been a major story tonight. I mean, those steals and putting pressure on the ball, clogging the passing lanes, impressive. Number They've been pounding any miss on the glass and cashing in on the offensive boards. I've been impressed with that aspect of their game. Deflected. It's out of bounds. Out of bounds. 
still Phoenix's ball. The ball goes to Phoenix. One minute in now in the fourth quarter. Off the inbound. No good. You got to move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look. But when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. And sometimes that's the best policy when you're going up against a big guy. Take it to the 10. Right at it. Get to the rack. And just about a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Good. Number on 22. The bucket. And this is just typical of him. Four. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. From deep three point land. That shot is off. Gone a perfect three for three here in the fourth. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Got a hand on it. Misses the baby hook. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. From the line. Yep, that okay. was good. Number Got seven. Got harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. To the inside. <laughs> And he's going to the line for two. Number the official five. saw contact while he was going to the First two fouls. Man, good whistle there. Yeah, At the line for the away team. The way over here. Number 25. Two shots. Drops the first. Both shots good from the strike. And we're about three minutes into the fourth now. Looks like a legal pick was set against the ref's attention. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows. Or Number 25. The U.S. hammer at home. Phoenix Tennis. Start is anyone's game now, and they have the momentum. Well, it starts with defense. They got some stops, scored some buckets after that. Man, and now we've got ourselves our so a ball game. Phoenix calls timeout. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. That'll drive your coach nuts. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now.
That's how aggressive he's been getting inside. He's finding lanes and avenues to the rim and making the defense pay when he does get inside. Um, I thought he really helped lead the charge for his team. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Hi, guys. Well, Jamal Mosley was just reviewing the plan with his team. He applauded their shooting and their shot selection, saying, we're taking the right threes, not forcing anything. Keep doing that, and they'll continue to fall. Makes the game easy, doesn't it? Okay, good stuff. Thank Number you, Allie. Seven. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Out to the wing. Second drill, even if it doesn't pay off tonight, maybe for the future. Substitution on the court. The visitors with the ball. Hit ball. Number 31. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. You know, on defense, even on the way team, you can't leave three points. Number 23. The first they personal foul. Then. 30 drops the first one. Increases the lead to six for Phoenix. Number 18. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's a seven point game. Every free throw is crucial in a close game. Nice work at the line. Here's the break, and he lays it in the break. And I'll tell you what, 
tell you what, the way they're able to pressure the ball and those quick hands, that's what led to an opening. You know, you push it after a steal, there's almost no chance the defense can get back in the cover. And so the whole team is treated to a win. The early on in this game, they are happy to be playing at home. And it makes it a pain in the support of the team. Once they start to get the ball, they never really felt like 